going back to clean if they'll want it today. We're gonna figure out how to get these shelves to have the tongues that they need, which will be called bare-faced tongues. But we're gonna try to get these all together, at least fitting, and then hopefully glued. I need to mark these shelves this depth. I can't do that with a panel gauge because I don't have one, but I do have this pencil. I am going to probably go ahead and use that moving filister plane that I have because that's what it's meant for. At least for me, that's what it's meant for. If you have a cross-cut saw, uh, even chisels, you can make these same joints. It'll take a little bit longer. If you have a table saw or a router, a power router, you'll walk right through these. In fact, a router would probably be the easiest way to do this. All the, bo all the boards would be done in uh, no time at all. But we're sticking with the hand tools because, well, that's what I got. We're gonna cut off the backs first and joint up those edges, get everything to the same depth. I would love to use my moving filister plane, but this fence does not close up enough. And this is the extreme that it closes up to. These are brass inserts, so it doesn't go any further than that. I do think though, because of that, at some point in the future, I'm going to make a new fence for this, a secondary fence. Keep this one, but make a new fence. I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm just gonna do this the way that I would normally do it. And that's by scribing a line using a cross-cut saw. These boards have been out long enough that they'll have cupped a little bit. I will clamp this down on top of them, which will force them back flat against the top of the uh, bench top. And that's where I'm gonna do the work. It does make things take a little bit longer, but frankly, it'll make them fit into that better. Ta-da! Shelf's actually staying up. What's going on up here is piece here, piece there. Keep from marring the, the wood. A bridge piece, kind of a call, not a real call. I should probably just plane these down and then I have real calls. I'll clamp this from both sides and I have two wedges for different doors. And we'll drive them together. And that'll put pressure on the center.
Good morning. There's our Frankenstein. You can see I took some of the clamps off of this shelf after it was dry enough. Used them on the top to get the top shelf. Top, it's not really a shelf, I suppose it's not a shelf. It clamped it in and down. <clears throat> I took it from down here because this is still being held together and then these two would hold these shelves together. So if this was squeezing up here, it wouldn't be creating any tension on this one or ones below it so uh, kind of like a, a lever action that's what i was trying to avoid by keeping these ones here it hasn't collapsed like the tote that's a win Less than a sixteenth. The carcass is done, and I have somewhere to be in a half an hour, 40 minutes. So we're gonna get that off of there and pull out the tool that I do need for the back. This is my Stanley 48. Subscribe, like, comment. Next time we use this bad boy. Win.